I am going to skip over and start with retouching um, because that is the first and most important way that it has changed my life. Okay? All right, let's start with, I'm going to start with handling wrinkles, for example. All right. So when somebody has bags under their eyes, um, or wrinkles. You don't really want to completely get rid of it. It's part of what they look like. I mean, she wouldn't look like her if it was completely smooth under the eyes. It wouldn't be realistic. But when you use the clone stamp, it starts to look blurry, right? When you clone over just a little bit, you don't want to get rid of it completely. So maybe you use 20% or 30%. Every time you go over, it just gets a little softer. And then you can tell that it's been retouched. So the first and most important way that I've used this for retouching is changing the blend mode of my clone stamp. This is an awesome tool. So I've duplicated my background, I'm selecting my clone stamp, and I'm going to change the blend mode. All right, so here's what I want you to remember, all right? When you want to lighten shadows, you change the blend mode to lighten. When you want to darken highlights, you change the blend mode to darken. So when you are filling in wrinkles or shadows under the eyes, you are trying to lighten the shadows. So you change your blend mode to lighten. All right, so what this does is it targets your clone, uh, your clone stamp. Instead of just cloning everything, what it'll do is if you're lightening, it won't touch the highlights, it'll only fill in the shadows. So it leaves some of that realistic detail there and it gives you more of a realistic retouch. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And this works for, um, it works for wrinkles and blemishes and under eye. So let me pick slightly higher opacity and fill in under the eye. Let's do before and after. See how it still maintains some of that original texture, but it fills it in. It just backs off some of the darkness in the shadows there. And you don't have to do it. I'm doing it at 60%. I mean, that is an extremely high opacity, but it still maintains some of that original texture. Um, I'm actually in my next section um, for advanced retouching going to talk about a better way to do this or it's more time consuming, it's much more advanced, but it is a really great way of maintaining all skin detail but lightening up shadows and getting rid of blemishes and it's called frequency separation. Okay, now, uh, another thing that I'll do um, for retouching is when I'm using lighten is sometimes I'll have a subject who has a bump in their nose and the reason you can tell that they have a bump in their nose is because the highlight isn't smooth. I don't know if you've ever paid attention to that, but you'll see there'll be a little dark spot where it'll jut over. Well, if you use your clone stamp on Lighten, you can actually just smooth out the highlight on the nose. So now you can't see that imperfection or that bump. So if anyone has a concern about a bump in their nose or maybe um, discolored skin, that works great. I'll also use it um, if somebody has like, sometimes people get a little bit darker just here or a little bit heavier. If you use your clone stamp on lighten, it just lightens it up a bit. You know, it makes it look like they're a little less heavier in the face because what happens is people's skin kind of pools. Okay, so it'll look a little darker. If you lighten up those shadows, it makes them look skinnier. So that is something I will do as well. All right, so that is lighten.